Welcome back to another video on the Intelligent Investor channel. My name is Chris Patino and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the process of how you can start farming PMLG token on the Polychain Monsters platform. This is going to be a short video but if you would like to watch a complete tutorial on this project and on this soon to be play to earn NFT game please don't forget to hit like on this video press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that I can let you know when I launch the next video. Also I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways once we get to our first thousand subscribers. So I hope you come along this journey. I have been in Polychain Monsters now for over six seven months I think. I do a lot more content on my Spanish channel and I have a lot more subscribers but I keep getting requests to do these videos in English so here we are. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have some PMON tokens. Now you can either buy the PMON's token directly on PancakeSwap. If you don't know how to get your tokens on PancakeSwap, you can make an account with Binance. You can fund your PancakeSwap and then you can convert them over to the PMON tokens. But the first thing you want to make sure is that you're doing it on the right chain. And that all depends on which farm you want to start earning your tokens through. Now, when I first started doing content on Polychain Monsters on my Spanish channel, the only thing we was able to do was earn PMON through staking. Again, I started in Polychain Monsters, I think around August, September. Since then, you can see that we we have a lot more products available now. Now today, now I already did a few videos for my Spanish community where I started doing the process of putting the tokens here in order to earn off the Polygon chain. And the reason I want to do them through Polygon and I'm switching a lot of my tokens over to Polygon is because you can see that the APR is much, much higher. I have a lot of tokens right now in BNB 40 and I have more staking, but we'll talk about that in another video. But what I'm doing the next couple of days is I'm taking all my tokens out of staking and I'm going to move them over to Polygon. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this process and what you should expect if you're doing it through Polygon. So again, you want to confirm that you have some tokens available. I think if I'm correct, I still have about four PMON tokens. Um, we have to switch over to Polygon. So you can see I have four tokens. You want to make sure you have at least one Matic or enough Matic in order to handle your transaction. I recommend having at least one. And you're only going to get charged a decimal for the transaction cost. So we're talking about a penny, sometimes less than a penny, in order to make these transactions. So we're going to put two on the PMON PMLG token. I'm going to explain the difference in a minute. So we're going to stake it. So right here you have two different warnings that you have to understand. The first one is that if you decide to unstake your token within 30 days, you're going to lose 20% of the amount that you have in your fund. If you decide to withdraw within 90 days, only 2.5% is going to go into the wild fund. And if you do it after 90 days, I'm assuming that, that the cost is going to only be the normal amount that you pay when you do transactions. So if you're okay with all of that, which I am because I plan on holding onto the tokens in this project for the long term, you can see here that you're only going to have to pay 0.007 Matic. We're talking about less than a penny. I think one Matic right now costs $1.80, $1.90. So we're going to wait for this to confirm. It usually just takes a few seconds and then we'll see it reflected here. I should end up having 8.4. And you can see that with what I did earlier in the day, I have already earned 1.2 PMLG tokens, which is pretty cool. Okay guys, so after a couple of minutes, you can see that my balance have changed. I now have 8.4 token stake. This number hasn't updated yet, but at least we can see over here on the amount of PMLG we're farming. Now, let's do the same over here for the PMON farm. And again, the difference here is that we're going to be farming PMON, staking PMON token. Up here, we're going to be farming PMLG, staking the PMON token. Oh, now you can see it updated. So now we're going to stake the rest of the PMON we have. We have 2.07. So let's stake it. Automatic rewards, harvest, okay. And we're going to confirm. Okay, and after a couple of seconds, I want to say 20, 30 seconds, you can see now that we have 8 PMON tokens staking, earning us PMON token. And we can also see that we have 8.4 PMON staking in order to earn the PMLG token. And for those that don't know, the PMLG token is going to be the token inside the PMON game. PMON is the governance token and PMLG is the token you're going to find inside the game. Kind of how you have AXS as the governance token in the Axie Infinity game and you have SLP as the token that you earn inside of the game. 
I will make other videos in the future talking about the benefits of the both, why I like one over the other, and why I see more potential one farm over the other. Also, just to remind you that I'm going to be launching a lot more complete content on Polychain Monsters. I'm going to try to do a couple of videos every week of what's going on in the community, things that you can do that you might not know, gameplay of the actual game that we have now, which if you haven't checked out the demo, I recommend you go doing so by going to the game tab and finding more info. And I'll also do tutorials just like this one so that you can see what you're going to get into before you do it and if you like content like this on polychain monsters you'll like to see more content on different nft projects different things that i'm investing on different trading content please don't forget to hit that like button the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that i can let you know when i drop the next video i'd like to thank you for staying to the end this is the intelligent investor channel and i'll see you on the next one